G'day golfers, Tony Weebeck here for Australian Golf Digest TV. Been joined by Mark Leishman, lucky enough to be with us today. Mark, you've had a great year. We're going to run through Mark's bag and a couple of new toys and what he used in 2017 to register two wins and seven top tens. Mark, can you tell us anything new in the bag for 2018? Thanks, Tony. Yeah, it was a good year. Um, we've actually got a new set of irons in. Uh, this is the Australian PGA, it's going to be the first week I use them. They're the new Callaway X Forge. Irons, I've got them from four iron through the pitching wedge. Um, I still use the, the utility Apex two and three iron, um, the Epic driver and, and three wood. I've used, been using both of them all year. Um, Bay Hill was the first week I used this actual three wood um, and then ended up winning the event. So that was, that was a nice one. Uh, driver's been awesome. Um, been using that since uh, the first event of, of this year, the, the Sony Open. Uh, I've got a, one of the new SM7 wedges, the lob wedge, uh, and then uh, the new um, Callaway wedge. I don't actually know what that's called. There's a bit of lead tape <laughs> <laughs> So I, uh, yeah, I, you know. How what, quickly do you go through your wedges, you know? Like, in, in, do you go through how many wedges in a season? I'll use probably four sets of wedges. You know, I'll wear them out. Of, most of my practice is, is short game practice. Um, so I go through them fairly quick. Uh, irons, I don't really wear them out too much. They'll last me all year. But um, yeah, wedges, you know, it's important to, to have fresh wedges. Um, you know, if, you, if you've got a tough shot that you need some spin, you don't want to be worried about uh, the ball sliding up the face or anything. And then probably the, the best club in my bag, along with the driver, was the, I've got an Odyssey Versa one wide putter. Um, and there's a story behind this, I believe, because we see a lot of mallet heads these days, a lot of big head putters. That's what small? How'd you find this one? I found this one. Um, so last year I got to the the, the open at uh, I think it was at Royal Troon last year. Uh, my clubs didn't arrive, so I I wanted to get a bit of practice in. I went into the Callaway truck and picked this up, and I'm like, that looks really good. So I grabbed it and took it out on the course just to putt for a little bit, and um, and loved it. And I've used it ever since. So I. Uh, been putting, you know, really well with it this year. Uh, had a couple of wins with it, and you know that's going to be pretty tough to get out of the bag. Do you fall in and out of love with putters, or not generally? Um, you know, if you if you're putting bad for a few weeks, you know, you might substitute it and you know see how that new one goes. But you know, I've been using this for about a year and a half now, so um, all my stuff I, I don't really change too much. I've used the same driver all year. Uh, Three woods been in for a long time. The irons, I just you know, there was a new model out that, that look and, and feel really good. So that's that's why I changed. Um, I don't cha like changing. You know, I only change if I feel like it's it's noticeably better and, and, a, and an improvement. So um, any special setup with the irons when the Callaway guy sent you through? Have you got special specs that uh, I guess are different to maybe very heavy bit? shaft? Yep. I use a, a Nippon. Nippon NS Pro, it's a 130 gram shaft, so it's really heavy and it, it's hard step, so um, it means that it's a, in a pitching wedge, it's a, the, rather than the step being here, they, they tip it a little more just to make it stiffer, so I like it really stiff and, and, and really uh, really heavy, so it makes me be able to control the distance better, um, you know, if I was to use a, a shaft like that that wasn't hard step. It would probably spin up in the air and not hit it probably too far. So, um, you know, with hitting it too far, it comes, you know, problem with distance control. So, um, yeah, it's been, you know, all good. training aid in the back here. What's... Yeah, just to check my uh, check my alignment um, mostly. Uh, it's pretty handy to put the putter cover on, um, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about dropping that. But yeah, mostly, you know, I, I like to check what the basics of my golf swing and set up and all that every week so that, that comes in handy with that um, but I mean apart from that of you know just normal uh, normal stuff I like to carry 12 golf balls um, we use the Callaway Chrome Soft X so uh, yeah like 12 new ones just in case uh, you know things don't go quite well that day or you know I hit a lot of wedges um, you know whenever it gets a scuff on it I'll, I'll change it out um, like How that. quickly would you change out a ball? Like, could it be three or four holes, or maybe? it depends. I mean, you know, sometimes you'll I'll play it for one hole, and if I hit a full wedge shot, it might leave a big scuff in it, and you know, I'll give it to a kid uh, walking off the green. Or, or sometimes I'll use it, you know, for fifteen holes. Um, 
if I start having a few birdies, I generally, I, I won't change it. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, they give us quite a few balls, so. Um, haven't run out yet? Haven't run out. I, uh, you know, it feels good to, to give it to kids off the side of green. So, um, you know, to make a few bogeys, get rid of that one and, and put a new one in. Um, Any numbering? Do you know superstition for the numbers on the golf balls? No. You don't stay away from threes or? I used to stay away from fours, yep. but I got past that. Uh, so I just use whatever they give me now. Um, yeah, like I said, 12 golf balls. Uh, try and have three or four new gloves in just in case it rains or you know one doesn't fit right or it's sweaty or you know most of the courses that we the tournaments we play at are really hot so um, just I'd rather have too many in there than, than not enough. Um, of course you don't have to carry it so. Don't have to carry it uh, although my bag is pretty light um, <laughs> compared to a lot. I've always got uh, well the yard for cover so it's got my foundation on the front there and my kids names. Um, uh, sunglasses case just to clean the uh, clean the glasses if they get uh, get dirty. Sunscreen definitely put that on every day. It looks like fancy sunscreen. That doesn't look like. I forgot to take sun cream to Korea. It's actually a Korean sunscreen yeah, that, right. was, um, that I found in our hotel room. So uh, <laughs> it's lasted me all right. Um, Talk to us then, about you got the foundation on the front of yeah. the bag. Two years in now. How how fulfilling and has that been? And obviously you've been through your own. Dramas in hospital with, with Audrey and everything. What's it been like to be on the other side of people out? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, you know, we were very lucky with you know the, the outcome that, that Audrey had. Um, wasn't looking like it was going to be that good, but uh, you know, with you know with what happened to us, we've been able to find the good in it and help a lot of families. We've helped I think eleven hundred families so far. Um, so it's, it's nice to, to be in a position to be able to help and you know just take that financial burden off, off families when you know they're going through something that you know that prefer not to be going through you know and, um, and then have to worry about money as well so um, yeah we're trying to help uh, help out as many people as we can and um, you know it's it's been a lot of fun we've met a lot of great people and and um, you know helps help some great families so it's been really good do people ask about the foundation they sit on the bed yeah they do yeah they you know I get asked about it quite a lot and, um, particularly with you know pro and partners, they um, they always ask about it, and you know, a lot of the pro and partners have, have donated as well. So um, yeah, like I said, it's 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 a good topic of conversation, and um, nice to, to bring up something positive like that. All right, hopefully the new lines go well this week, and see you on Sunday. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks man. Appreciate it. Thank you.